Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Beauty here, collecting Blue Eyes White Dragons and other rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Today we have a package from Lakewood, California. Gotta finger the rest. Hope it's a Blue Eyes. Oh, I feel it. It feels kind of slabbed. Oh, that's the front of the card. That's the back of the card. Huh, never mind. It's not slabbed. Seems to be some type of plastic case. Ooh, look at the damage on that already. Alright, um, don't know what this is, but it looks pretty beat already. Let's see what it is. Blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes. Huh, there we go. Blue eyes, white dragon. Unlimited, LOB, 001. Cool. I've never seen a case like this. But I'm actually a fan. This, this feels kind of nice. Okay. Open that up carefully. Oh, it comes apart. Let's put that there. Pop the card out. There we have it. A very beat damaged Blue Eyes White Dragon LOB. This is my first uh, Blue Eyes LOB Unlimited. So, there we go. I think I got it through Mercari, I think. Um, for like 20 bucks and people are crazy when they list unlim lob blue eyes for like hundreds of dollars it's unlimited you can print that print them to infinity top left corner damaged top right corner damaged top bottom left damaged bottom right a uh, damaged you got the silver eye of anubis lb001 Admittedly, nice hollow foil, but look at that huge bend right there. I was just in the market for uh, cheap LOB blue eyes, and this is the cheapest ones I've ever seen. Um, but the damage is ridiculous. But at least I have something to reference for um, and compare it to an actual LOB first edition. Yeah, a cheap LOB blue eyes. Um, the price history of uh, LOB blue eyes, I'll put it up now. And the trajectory of where it's going, I think it'll definitely go higher. Um, but on this channel, I like to talk about first editions, so this is a little bit outlier for talking about uh, unlimited blue eyes. Either way, everyone loves blue eyes, especially if it's LOB. Um, I'm, I'm still more of an STK fan. I mean, clearly, but um, yeah, as LOB gets more scarce, uh, these will still go up in value. A good condition one. I'm talking about maybe average PSA eight. BGS 8 would still go for easy hundreds of dollars, um, if not in the four digit range. Gold hollow foil. Ugh, that damage is so, so extreme. I mean, while we're here, let's compare it to uh, my actual LOB first edition. And here we have my LOB first edition blue eyes. First time I'm actually showing this on the on the channel. As you can see, unlim, a little lighter. First edition, much darker. The cardstock. This one's damaged as well, but <laughs> not as beat as this. First edition. LOB001. Centering is, isn't too bad on this actually. Um, still a little bit bigger on the right side. Let's leave this up. It's pretty interesting tracking the LOB blue eyes. They have definitely um, spike up and go down, but they definitely have been going up for the past couple of years. This would be a nice binder card or just something to keep in the collection. Still a beautiful card. This is a, definitely a cool case. If anyone knows uh, what kind of uh, card card uh, slab this is, please let me know. I might pick up some more because it does feel nice. It would have been nicer if there was some type of hinge to open and close it, but fully coming apart um, works as well. I don't think a sleeve fits in here. Let's try. Yeah, so a standard card sleeve will not fit in here, but maybe a KMC actual fitted Yu-Gi-Oh card, the small sleeves would probably fit in here, but 
the sleeves I use are for more Pokemon and MTG related, so they will not fit. Standard card sleeve will not fit in here. But I like this. I like this a lot. Definitely going to keep this. Anyways, uh, just a quick video today. Very happy with this card. It's uh, a true beauty. And if you guys want to see more unboxings and mail videos of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.